Okay, everyone, welcome back to the Brezza of Efrat here at Shira David. Welcome, Hashem. It's another beautiful day today here in Eretz Yisrael. Sh- sunny day. Wow, isn't it beautiful? Unbelievable. Baruch Hashem. Okay, so uh, today is actually my uh, my grandfather's yard site. Shem Shem Leah. Amen, amen. His name was uh, Rav Sev and Aaron Mordechai. He was a very special person. They grew up in uh, they grew up in Brooklyn during the Depression. Wow. <laughs> it's very hard. It was very very hard. He was practicing rough. No, no, he was not a rough. He was not a rough. Oh. His father-in-law was a big rough, yeah. but he was not a rough. But um, but the, to, to to be to be Shoma Shabbos in those days <laughs> was a major thing. Was mamish major. I mean, he would go. He would work in, in different factories, and uh, you know, uh, you had to work on Saturday. And if you didn't, they came. You didn't show up on Shabbos. Uh, they gave him. They gave him his pink slip. You had yeah. to. Yeah. Zev yeah. ben Simon. Yeah. Yeah. Baruch Hashem. He was a big influence in my life. Baruch Hashem. I had the opportunity. We. I grew up in a two-family house. We had a two-family house. My uh, grandparents lived downstairs. We lived upstairs. Wow. So it was an amazing thing to get to spend time with my grandparents. And it was just, the things I learned from him was, mom, was priceless. Priceless. How old were you when he was Nifter? How old was I when he was Nifter? I was about 20... Oh, so I, 20 yeah, 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 yeah. Baruch Hashem. Yeah, Baruch Yeah, I knew him for many years. Baruch Hashem, Baruch Hashem. Oh, good morning, Anna. Okay, so we're in the middle of, we're, let's say again, we're learning today again for the well-being and the success of our, our soldiers, wherever they are, Amen. and our captives, and they should all be brought home safely, okay? Now, Amen. we're in the middle of this concept, we're in Lakuti Halachas Hilchas Birchas Hashacha, Halacha Hey, we're in the middle of Chav Ches. And then we, we, we came to this uh, little junction yesterday that we, uh, we have to just see if we can smooth it out a little bit. Right, we have to see if we can smooth it out a little bit. And, and uh, I thought a lot about it to try to uh, to come to a to a uh, to a pshara. Okay, I can't. Okay, here we go. Pshara, pshara, uh, 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 a compromise, a compromise. There we go. There we go. Can we, can we say like this? Anyone, you have to open the cup. Yeah. Anyone, any, 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 uh, uh, any um, people that are working to bring us closer to Hashem and recognizing Hashem in the world, those are people we're supposed to involve ourselves with. But any people that say that Hashem is irrelevant in these modern times, right? There are a lot of people today that say that there was a time, but today we're in modern times. It's uh, the ancient things are all irrelevant. So those type of people, can we agree that we don't want to have anything to do with? Can we agree on that? Yeah. That makes sense. We can. Okay, good. So, oh, Paul Hashem. We agreed on something. Yes, no, no. Okay. Yeah. I think <laughs> it depends. What? Why? Who it is. Who did you say it was? Maybe I didn't. Anyone that, 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 that's, a, that's a professor uh, that professes, that says that religion and God and, right. uh, and is redundant, irrelevant in these modern times, those people we should stay away from. So we're talking about professors. That fair, professors, people, okay. uh, Zikain, whoever it may be. Can we say that that's fair to say? Is that fair to say, Peter? Yeah. Yeah. So it, it's anything that it does not have its connection to Russia. That's it. Finished. That's yeah. it. That's it. Yeah. That's all. That's all. Everything. Let's say, we'll, we'll say these are the Talmidim of Bilam. We'll call the, those guys the Talmidim of Bilam. Right, Bill Marash, right? He was a he was a he was a navi on the other side, right? Mm-hmm. And then and then we have the good guys. We'll say these are the guys on Moshe's camp. Okay, okay, yeah, okay. Oh, Baruch Hashem, you see that we worked it out. Very good. Okay, Shehem. So we have the place from yesterday. Shehem Machniyam Bechinas Zikainim the Sitra Acher. So the Zikainim, the Zikne, the Kedusha, are there to put down and to disprove. Disprove the ones that are professing the wrong things. Right? They're there to, pr- to, to put them there. Now we said there are many things that we can do, like when we say the Shema, and then we say the Baruch Shem Kavayim Machus, so we can have in mind if we know certain people that are, having the, that, are, that, are, that are involved in the wrong belief systems. We can, we can ask Hashem to please help guide those people and bring them to the truth as well. 
The same way, Hashem, you, you allowed me to find the truth, please allow them to find the truth as well. Is that good? Okay. Baruch Hashem. Okay. Shehem machniyem bechine siknev. And that's how you can be machniya. That's how you can subdue the evil side that the, 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 uh, the uh, students and the, and the, and the people on, in Bilaam's camp. Okay. Very important thing. Every single day, we're supposed to add something new. Every day is a new day, and every day we're supposed to have a new perspective. We're supposed to see things in a new light, because today is the day that's here, and this day is, is going to end with the day, and uh, tomorrow will be a brand new day again. That will never happen again. Repeat, Hashem never repeats anything Twice. Everything is always different. They said, the Chazal tell us that you'll never find two snowflakes that look alike. Could you imagine that? Two snowflakes. Could you imagine it's like you have these big snowstorms, right? And there's, uh, I don't even know how many, there must be uh, zillions and zillions of snowflakes. Right? You, you've seen, right? We all, right? We all experience that, right? Even we all our, experience, huh? our DNA. How many millions? No, 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 but I'm just saying something something so simple, like snowflakes, right? Something so simple. But if you looked at every one, every single one is different. And then people will ask, and we studied this before, you know, we we know there's a concept of Gilgal and Shamot, right? We know that sometimes we come back. So we spoke about that, because I know some of you may be thinking about that. You know, so if I, there's no, we don't know two things the same. So that the neshama comes back, Hashem sends the neshama back, but He doesn't send it back with the same, nef, with the same nefesh, ruach, or that He changes the, 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 the chaya and yechida. Right? There are different parts to our neshama, right? So yeah, there, there are different, there are different, uh, make, there are things that make up our neshama. So HaKadosh Baruch Hu will change something in it, and the sham will be the same. The sham but will have different characteristics. Okay, the characteristics will change of the neshama as he as it comes back in the Gilgal again, again. And Hashem does that to tweak it in order for that neshama that comes back to be able to make those tikkunim, right? Make those repairs, right? Because why does the neshama come back in the world? Because it it, it it had to make a repair for something in the past. Gilgal, right? We're talking about initially, not every day, right? No, no, we're talking about when, when, when a person passes away, uh, right, and he comes down and he, come, and, he come, and he's reborn, right? Yeah, you're not talking about every day, you know? No, 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 this doesn't happen every day. Right. No, every well, day. But every day we're every new. Every day we're new, every day we're new. Same but, but, but we have the neshama with that same, with those same properties. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, but again, an neshama may come back again, an neshama may come back again in, with different properties, different characteristics to make it uh, 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 manifest differently in the world. Okay. Okay. Kemaisha kosa batayv as oivim ayin sham heitev veikir hachna osam ayedet hatzedaka. The main way: How do you push down? How do you push down the people of Bilam? Right? How do you push down those guys, the wicked guys that are saying God is irrelevant? God, it, 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 right? So what do you do? You need it. You give tzedakah. Why? Because by giving it, by giving tzedakah, you're showing that it's Hashem. You gave it to me. I'm the custodian of the money that you gave to me. But I realize it's not my money. It's my money. You gave it to me. But I realize that it's only I only have it because you gave it to me, Hashem. Right? There is a, why would someone want to ever give tzedakah? Right? A person that doesn't believe in God, doesn't believe in mitzvahs, is he going to want to give tzedakah? Why? I need more for me. Right? Only people that can give tzedakah believe. I don't, I don't agree. No, you don't agree? Okay. I don't agree because there are people that still want to do what they think is good for somebody who has less. Right. They might not be Shomer Shabbat or whatever right, you want right, to call right, it. Right, they right, right. might not be Jewish. Right. Right, they could. They right, could they be, want to save the penguins, and, and, they'll, and they'll, 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 they want to see how many times a cow belched yesterday. They'll do studies like that. And, you know, that <laughs> they do things that, like that, right? They do some that. silly things like that. They do, right? <laughs> but they're not doing it for the same. Thinking. They're, they're, I'm only talking about Jews, right? Right, Jews, no Jews, right? Moral, no, right, no, 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 no. Fine, fine. Okay, no, the Baruch, you're right. But there, there are Jews that that are not that are not. If they're not if they're not uh, educated, they don't know what they're doing. They don't know they don't know why they're giving tzedakah. 
and they know what they're doing with giving tzedakah, and they're deciding to make a, a life to build in Chutzarts, you know, they're Shomer Shabbat, they learn. Okay, they okay, 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 we're, okay. We're, we're talking now about tzedakah. So again, so again, in other words, by giving tzedakah means I'm going against my will. My will is, my will is, I want more for me. I want to have more for me. That's my will. But Hashem's will is, no, if you, you're supposed to give tzedakah. So if you're giving tzedakah, you're doing more of Hashem's will. Right? It's a good way to demonstrate doing Hashem's will over your own will. Because if I'm giving what I have to somebody else, why am I doing that? Not necessarily because I want to do that, but Hashem wants me to give tzedakah. So why am I doing that? Again, like we say, when we say Shema Yisrael, then we say Baal Shem, we can have, we can help other people. Giving tzedakah also helps other Jews. It's amazing the things that we can do normally. We normally give charity, we normally do these things. But realize when you're doing it, you're also helping other people via doing the thing. It's amazing. Isn't it also true that whatever you give in tzedakah will come back to you? That's a different thing. Asher Meshul Tisasha. Yeah, okay, the Torah says it. Yeah, that's one of the things that Hashem says you can test, test them with. with. Yeah. Yeah, that's the only, that's... Uh, so yeah. the only thing you cannot diminish of your own self, of our own Well, it's Adarabah, Adarabah. That's the other way around. Whatever money you give to Tzedakah, that you actually, that's your money. What you gave for Tzedakah becomes your money because it's yours eternally. You turn it into a mitzvah, it's mamish, it's yours eternally. You understand? Whatever money you give away for tzedakah, for the sake of giving tzedakah, for the mitzvah of tzedakah, right? So that becomes your money. That's your wealth. That's your true wealth. Right? The money that we have in our bank account that we keep, is that considered our wealth? Yeah, that's our wealth in this world. But is our, our spiritual wealth is what the money that we dispense. When we dispense the money for tzedakah, right, via doing that, we are amassing our spiritual wealth. Does that make sense? Okay. I have a couple of questions. Okay, what's the question? One is, I, I don't know if this is similar to test, but I've heard that when you spend money on Shabbat, yes. and you make it really nice for you, and you spend extra, yes. that, that also will... The mo- add to the amount of money you can get because no, because the brach, no, brachas come from Shabbos. The bracha comes and the three sudas of Shabbos brings you the bracha for the week, right? The the, the uh, suda Friday night it brings you the bracha for Sunday and Monday. The suda Shabbos morning brings you the money for Tuesday and Wednesday, and shalosh shudas brings you for Thursday and Friday. See that? But this is all, we're talking only about monetary yeah. value. Yeah, yeah. No, the re- we're talking about spiritual value you know, because well, I'm just you're creating a spiritual... Well, tzedakah usually, okay, tzedakah That's generally it. is money. Now, your person can give tzedakah with his time as well. Right? There are different things people can do. If you don't have money, right, he can donate his time because time is equal to money as well, right? A person's time... Right? He, he can earn a wage for his hours, right? So if a person doesn't have money to give tzedakah, he can don, he can volunteer. He could do, he could do something for different organizations. He can help out other people, and that's also considered a tzedakah. What right? about what we do for the soldiers? Hmm? What we do for the soldiers? Well, it's like the anything. Whatever, whatever. go or help out in a hospital, help out in a yeshiva, go help out in a shul, whatever you're gonna do. Whatever, whatever the person feels, uh, feels he'd like to do. But that can also be... Mm? Well, that's the, best, that's the best form of tzedakah, right? person comes to you for money, and you, you, you can give, if you can offer the person employment, that's the greatest form of tzedakah, right? Because then by doing that, he can earn his own money, and then he's, he doesn't have that gripe with Hashem that he doesn't have his money anymore, right? <laughs> so what's the Machaber's point here about the... Rav Nassim is trying to, Rav Nassim's point over here is that we, 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 this, this whole idea, the whole idea in, in Birchus HaShachar is constantly to find, the, to, to, to make the, 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 the differentiate, the different, the dif, to find the difference, to find the difference between day and night, good and bad. Okay, so, we, so he, he, 
we're, we're trying to discuss now many different ideas since he was talking about the idea of Shema Yisrael and then the Baruch Shem and then how he can get out of the judgment and all of that. So there Rabbi Nassim's going to tell you, okay, you know, there are other ways we can do this as well. Here's another way. You can give tzedakah now. You can give tzedakah now and that also will help that. And then we're going to see soon, that's why we give tzedakah before we say Birchas Kriyashma. Right, before Birchas Kriyashma in Vayavarach David, right, Vata Meishel Bakol, we're going to learn in a few minutes. Uh, maybe, maybe not today, but whatever, we're going to get to it. It, 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 where, where, where we say in Vayivarach Tov, Ata Moishel Bakol, that you Hashem are conducting and ruling everything, everything. It's all you Hashem. Give you a tzedakah right then and there. Yeah. Give you a tzedakah there. You've heard that, right? Ten fingers. The two hands. Right, right, right. Ten fingers. <laughs> I think my kids do that, you know, so they give them a little shakka, you know, shakka, you know, shakka. No, 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 the reason for that is because the, the right hand, the right hand wants to give, the right hand is chesed, yeah. the left hand is gvura. so if I take the left hand and I make it give also, I'm training myself, right, if I put, use two hands, so the right hand is the side of chesed, but no, so that uh, we learned that you're supposed to take the money and put it into your both fingers and put the coin in with your both hands. Why? You're training the left side, the gvura, to also do chesed. You're making, you're training the left side to do chesed. Unbelievable. The things that we normally do, it's unbelievable. Can you do two coins? Yeah. One in each hand? I'm trying to... Was... No, no, you want to give two hands, you give them both with, uh, with, with both hands. With both hands? Yeah. Is Try to do it if you can. Three coins, three hmm? three, uh, yeah, there's an Indian of three coins. Yeah, but let's, uh, let's not get... That's yeah, three yeah. coins in a fountain. Yeah. <laughs> so therefore we start off we start off with the blessings because again we're discussing the blessings of Kriya Shema, right? In this chapter, right? It's, it's been a, 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 three days now, right? So we're trying we're, we're trying to get past this. Uh, yeah. So so we we discussed that in the morning we have three blessings before and after Kriya Shema. And at night when we do the, the Arvis the, 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 the evening prayer, so we have four brachas, two before and two after, right? So then we ask the question, why are we starting off with the Ma'iras? In other words, if we're talking about Shema Yisrael, Hashem Alekeinu, what does it have to do with the illuminaries? Yoyt Serah Ma'oros, right? What does it have to do with the illuminary? Why does it have to do with the moon, the sun, all the light in the world? What does it have to do with it? Right? So let's see. And we're supposed to, we're supposed to reveal and we're supposed to make public. We're supposed to make known. That Hashem, He Himself, Hashem, He Himself, Hashkodesh Baruch Hu, the Melech Malchayam Lachim Himself, Bora esaor vesachoyshech. Hashem every day creates the light and he creates the darkness. It happens again. Like we say, Yoitzer ham oiris. We're saying, and we say, Amachadish betuvay bechol yom tamid masay bereshis. Right? Bechol yom tamid. What is bechol yom tamid? Every single day. Kol means every day. Every day Hashem makes it anew. And we're just, we're just, we're just making, we're, we're reiterating that statement that we understand that every single day, that this is a brand new day. The sun that we see shining today is shining because Hashem willed it today to shine. And that's the only reason it's shining. It's not shining because Hashem made the world, uh, 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 you know, all those millions of years ago, like they say. And it's just, it, that's what the sun does. It just does it automatically. It's all Teva. That's what it does. No, no. We, we're, we're reiterating that HaKadosh Baruch Hu, no. The sun is shining and I see the light of the sun. I see it's actually, I'm looking at your light, Hashem. When we see the sunlight, right, we're seeing Hashem's light. Why? Because it's only Hashem is the one that makes the sun shine. It gives it the power to shine. So really, if Hashem is powering the sun, the light that you see is really the, a, a direct light from Hashem. And here you go, when you see the sunlight, you can recognize Hashem in the world. Yes, sir. Does that include everything in nature, flowers? Yeah. And so, he's okay. The flowers only come about because there was sun. Right. 
there's no sunlight, if it's only dark, you're not going to grow flowers, right? No, I, I just want Plants, to... tomato, like we were talking about before, tomatoes, right? You're not going to grow tomatoes in the dark, are you? Well, you're not going to grow without water either. Of course, no, no. Of yeah. course, of course, and no, no. No, no, but you can, can you, can, wait, 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 you, you told me that you were growing, you were growing a lot of tomatoes. You need sunlight, right? The tomatoes need sunlight, right? And they get real nice and red and nice and tasty, right? When there's sunlight, right? They need the sunlight. So is he creating that as an indirect through the sun, which is created every day, like a flower growing, or is it a direct connection that is being created every day because Hashem's creating it's, it's every direct, day. Yes, and Hashem makes the sun shine in different places, right? It, sh it shows in different places, right? So HaKadosh Baruch Hu directs the sunlight to those plants and this plant, and, and that's how everything works in the world. Yeah, it's all Hashem, because like Hashem dominoes. wills it. Hmm? Clouds, like dominoes then. Sorry, yeah. go ahead. So like dominoes then, you know, it brings out, it creates, it creates the sun, which then creates the flowers, yes. which then creates the... Yes, it's a domino um, effect, um, yes, um, yes. But, but, but that domino effect is not because the dominoes are falling. Hashem knows right. that this, if I do this, this will happen, and this will yeah, be the outcome, yeah. and that will be the outcome. And everything is very specific. Right. Very well, specific. But even right? the clouds that come... And cover there's the a, sun. Everything comes from our Kodesh. Right, right, wait, 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 wait. There's a beautiful, there's a beautiful song that that Avram Fried sings. It's in Yiddish. He sings a song in Yiddish. It's a beautiful song to help understand this. Okay, he sings a song about there's a there's a man that's on his horse, right? He's riding on his horse, riding on a horse on the most pristine road, the most pristine road, and everything is just in order. The road is perfect, and the trees are magnificent, and everything is just the way it's supposed to be. And all of a sudden, as he's riding, he sees there's a leaf on the floor. It was so perfect that even one leaf looked out of place. So he goes over to the leaf, and he asks the little leaf, Bletala, Bletala, why are you on the floor here? You made a mess. What's going on here? He says, what do you want from me? Why are you asking me? Ask the tree. He knocked me off, that's why I'm here. So he asked the tree, and the tree says, it's not my fault, it was a wind that came and blew. So the leaf detached from the tree, it's not my fault. Why don't you ask the wind? <laughs> okay, so he asked the Malach that sent the wind, the new Malach, why did you send the wind to blow the tree to knock off this leaf? My road was perfect. Why do you make a mess on my road? He says, I don't know. I don't know. You have to ask the Rabbi Nishlam. He told me. He said, gave me direct orders to send the wind to blow on that tree. And that's why I blew on the tree. So he asked the Rabbi Nishlam, what happened? So the Rabbi Nishlam tells him, go look underneath the leaf. Go look underneath the leaf. And there was a little worm. There was a little worm underneath the leaf. And the little worm was sitting, was, was very, very hot. And the little worm cried out to Hashem, it's way too hot. The sun is too strong. The sun is too strong. So Hashem sent the malach, okay, go blow, send the leaf. And then that leaf came and went right over the, the little worm, right over that little worm. So the little worm can have the relaxation. The Kandabar went through all of that trouble, so to say. Right? It's not trouble for Hashem, right? Because it was a little worm that cried out. A little worm. Could you imagine when we cry out to Hashem? If we really do it like we mean it? Until somebody steps on that leaf. Uh, that's not the point. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm playing you. No, no, no. But everything Hashem does, He does for the reason. Because he, there's a purpose for everything He's doing. We don't always understand it. Like in that story, the man, the man didn't understand why there's a leaf on this floor there. You know? How's the song go? Huh? Like sing a, I just, I'll, look I'll send you the song if you'd like. Sing a sing a here, stand over the table. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. I, I, I don't know that. I'll send you the song yet. I have it on my phone. I'll send you the song, okay? You'll, you'll probably, you probably heard the song. Yeah. You ever listen to Avram Free? Yeah, all the time. That's why I, it's Yiddish. Okay. Still, I wonder. Yeah, yeah it's, on, it's, on his, it's, on, it's on his album, The Yiddish Gems. It's on his album, Yiddish Gems. Okay, we'll, we'll, I'll send it. Okay. Okay, let's let's try to okay. Vies ha choishek, vies ha yoyim, vies ha laila, v'chol ha galgalim. 
Hashem makes the day and the night and all of the different things and the things that transpire. The Galgal, all of the things that transpire in the world because of whatever reasons Hashem deemed needed to happen. Everything happens specifically because Hashem wills it to happen. The Chama v'Levana v'Kachavim v'Chol Tzavam. And it, it, that's a, according to, a, a, with, when it's re, regarding the sun, the moon, the stars, and the, and the, and the, the firmaments, the chol tzavam, the firmaments, right? When we say, Shema Yisrael Hashem Elekeinu Hashem Echod, right? So when we say Echod, so the Aleph in the Echod is to know that there's one Hashem. Echod is one. The Aleph is for one. The Ches of the word Echod is there is a Zion Rekiyan, right? There are seven firmaments up on high. Right, we heard about that, right? The Zion Rekian, right? There are seven firmaments, right? When we had Kabbalah Satoru, right? By Har Sinai, Hashem opened the seven firmaments. Okay, so the end plus, so that you have the seven firmaments and you have this world. And that makes the Ches, Ches, the numerical value of Ches is eight. Yeah. So you have the seven firmaments and you have, and you have this world. Okay, and then you have the Dalit. The Dalit is the four directions of the world. North, right, east, west, south, right. That's the four directions. Hashem is controlling everything. Also, when I say the Dalit, I'm supposed to take on, except upon myself, the Arba Misas Bezdin, right? The four deaths of Bezdin. If I have to give up my life for, for, for Hashem, I'm prepared to do that. I'll, I'll be Moisim Nefesh to Hashem if that case should happen to come, right? You understand, right? Um, there, there are, there are different, there are different, uh, Shemus of Hashem. There are different shamus of Hashem, right? And we know that, let's say, when, uh, when uh, Moshe Rabbeinu uh, met that Mitzri, right? And the Moshe Rabbeinu, the Torah says he, uh, he looked at him, he looked both ways, right? And then he, he said something, and then he disappeared, right? He, he, he died. He died. There's a shame of Hashem that's a, a tough chaf uh, hey. Okay, Tav Chav Hey, and these words, these name, these letters, these letters manifest themselves in the Ahavta Es Hashem Elokecha, right? The Ahavta Es Hashem Elokecha, the last letters of the three words is this shame. So the Rabbi Akiva's students, Rabbi Akiva's students asked Rabbi Akiva when he was, when the Romans were taking him out to kill him, why are you stopping, why are you stopping at Echad why don't you say, Vahafta es Hashem Elokecha, right? You say those words, now you'll, 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 you'll think of the shame, and then all of the Romans will cease to exist. They'll die. Well, Rabbi Akiva had the ability to do that. Rabbi Akiva had the ability, Rabbi Akiva had the ability to utter a shame of Hashem the way he knew how to do it. He knew how to, he understood. He, uh, yes, he understood. Rabbi Akiva understood that. And he could have done that. So they asked him, Rebbe, why don't you do that? Why are you enduring this? So he says, all my life I was mitzayah. How am I ever going to give my life al kiddush Hashem? I, I know I'm going to die anyway. We're all going to die. So why not die and die al kiddush Hashem? All right? Why not die al kiddush Hashem? And always like, well, I'm going to die anyway. And so, so then I, I have the opportunity now. I have the opportunity now, Rabbi Akiva said, to give my life al Kiddush Hashem. And here it goes. And he says, Echad, and he died. He didn't want, he didn't want it. It's unbelievable, right? Yes. Is it possible that he was the beggar that was the oldest and the youngest? <laughs> because he went into... Yes, he did. Yeah, <laughs> very good. Ve'en shum teva klal. Look at these words. Ve'en shum teva klal. There is no nature at all. Now, Again, let's understand something. Rav Nassim doesn't mean there's no nature at all. There is nature, right? There is nature. But to understand that the nature is only run through the way Hashem wills it to run, right? Like we had the mirror, the, the holidays, right? We have our holidays, right? Each one of the holidays, like we had Pesach, right? So Hashem changed the way nature runs, right? He changed nature, right? He changed nature. Right, the, the 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 Nile River is not supposed to be blood. Nature doesn't do that, right? Nature doesn't make nature doesn't send lice all over the land, right? Everything's covered by it. Nature doesn't send frogs all over. That's not nature, right? It's not nature. That's not nature. And then when it came to Kriyas Yamsuf, 
Hashem split the sea. The seas don't split. <laughs> That's not nature. Hashem did everything against nature to show He is controlling nature. Hashem is controlling it. When He wills nature to change, nature will change because Hashem wants it to change. So yes, there is nature. Hashem set things up and He keeps them going a certain way. Again, why? So that way we have Bechira. We have Bechira. We have free choice. We can say, no, 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 no. The sun came out today because that's what the sun does every day. It has nothing to do with Hashem. A person can say that. A person has the right to say that. Right? A person has the right to say that the sun came out because uh, whatever he has, they come up with these cuckoo things. They'll tell you that this happened and that, and they'll, they'll come up, right? Yeah, yeah, right? They have the, their, their calculations. They'll tell you. That's wrong, because, but again, Hashem has the sun come up to seem that that's what it does every day. That's my Bechira. So we're learning here that I can learn how to look at the sun, see Hashem in the sunlight. Yes? I'm sorry, I'm trying to understand this at, at a very deep level. So let's say I go home and I go in the kitchen and I choose this glass instead of this glass to yeah. pour some drink into. Yeah. Is that also... Um, yeah. Fit in, Hashem had me choose that glass. Yeah. And how is there a way to understand that particular glass? No, I don't. Okay, I, okay. We, we, we spoke about it when it comes to, 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 listen to this one. Let's say there's a plate of cookies, right? This has ever happened right. to you. There's a big deal. If someone brings out a plate of, 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 of chocolate chip cookies, fresh baked, what, what's the matter? What's, no, it's happened to everyone. No, no, let's say, I should, let's say they bring you out a brand new plate, a, a, a fresh plate of cookies. A fresh plate of cookies. Or a two-day-old plate. Wait, wait, hold on a second. Hold on, hold on, hold on a second. <laughs> now, they're all the same. They were baked, they were all the same. When you look at the plate, then you say, I want that cookie. That ever happened? Mm-hmm. You see the plate, yeah. and you say, oh, I want this one. But they're all the same. And then if someone would walk over and take that one, wait a minute, that was, I wanted that cookie. <laughs> That's right. Did that ever happen? Did that ever happen? They're not all the same. Uh, of course. No, 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 I'm just trying. No, no. Why? Because again, when, 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 when Hashem it, it, that decided that that sunlight and that water and that grain of, 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 of sugar and that grain of, of cocoa that's in there with the chip and then, and, and those, and those grains of the flour that's in there, that's supposed to be for you. And you knew that. You saw that. You sensed that. Or else, why am I sensing? Why, why do I want this one over that one? They're all the same. They're all the same. Can you explain it any other way? And what do I do when someone takes the can plate? Anyone explain, can anyone explain why when I look at a plate of cookies, I want that one and I don't want the, the other one? I, I want, want the biggest one and this one's bigger looking. Too. Okay. Your eyes. <laughs> let's say they're, eyes. Let's say they're all amazing. identical. They're all like, they were made by a machine. They're all identical. They're all identical. The cookies are all identical. By weight, shape, size, everything's identical. And you see, I still, I want this one. You're yeah, but... not going to be identical okay. to but... one's eyes. Okay, you're right. But why there. is it not? But the question is, why is it not identical to your eyes? Because there's one that's pertaining to you. Okay. However, and someone so... may take my cookie, which means that it wasn't meant for me. Okay, that's true too. <laughs> Look, your that's job here. is to bring cookies. That could be tomorrow. he took that one because okay. you didn't really want that one. Right. You needed the other one. You made a mistake. Talking about it because you need to bring cookies to us. Okay, tomorrow. so we'll bring cookies. Okay, okay. You bring that's cookies it. tomorrow. They okay. look all the same. Hashem wants you to bake cookies today. The Your one who has on the, the idea is the one who's supposed to bring sun. them. What? Right. Right. Your point on the sun is kind of like <laughs> what the professor was bringing up yesterday. Like, you know, Hashem raises the sun every day. You decide, look, Hashem's in there. You're right. I can find Hashem in the sun. But he's going to say, look, there's a solar system, and we know exactly when the sun rises, and we know when it sets. It's, it's, only, it's only five minutes to eight. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. There's, there's some stuff to say before okay, okay, it starts okay. officially. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, that's true. We learned about that also. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. So that's yeah. all. So when it comes to that stuff, like, like there is a lot of the cookie. Maybe I can't fully explain. Well, maybe from a psychology sector, I could. From a science standpoint, of the sun rising, yeah, I can tell you exactly why it rises, why it sets, why it's there. You want to tell me Hashem's in there? Like, um, okay, Hashem's. Okay, he's the one that makes that. All that happened, but there's 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 consistent 
uh, uh, principles that work. Right, but then and like we said that Hashem yeah. only did that because of our Bechira. If, the, if everything was totally different every day, yeah. then, then no one can ever say there's such a thing as nature, because it's always changing. Right. But if, if Hashem makes it in a way that it kind of runs this way, you can, you can call it nature. That's because He wants us to have Bechira. He doesn't want us. He wants to hide, and we have to find Him. So, so they were saying, Yotzer HaMa'orais, it's you, Hashem, that made the Moros. That's what we're blessing Hashem. Yes, I know it seems more than anything, specifically those Moros are totally nature. Nature. Totally set, everything's running. We yes. Have, we have it down to a science. We got it a is a science. science. They tell you it is a science. It but is that's, a science. It's just an and exchange. You're saying, you're saying, no, 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 Hashem, we know better. We know deeper. That's why it... I know you're hiding in there. I know, and that's why I say Baruch Atah Hashem Yotzer Hamoros. Hashem, what does Yotzer mean? What is the Yud when it's Yotzer? What does that mean? In the, he's, he's, he's creating. He's creating. Ah, actively creating, right? Yotzer. It's not Yotzar, right? It's not Yotzar. It's Yotzer. That's future tense. Hashem is constantly creating it. Present, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, he's doing it now. He's actively doing it. So it's another exchange. What do you mean? Yeah, it's, well, yes, okay, yes, it's exchange. No, because you have. Na- yes. you think it's nature, but it's not. Right, 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 right. Okay, here. Chachme teva shoyim sheyesh teva v'toylin hakol b'teva. The chachme teva, everything is teva, and they they make everything dependent on teva. That's again the the, the Bilam people. That's what they do. Okay. The Bilam people. <laughs> yeah, you know the professors. No, yeah, 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 yeah. The professors that say that that uh, the Torah and Hashem is irrelevant today. Those guys, those guys say it's all teva. They, those right. guys say well, it's all. We, we, we could prove it. Right, right, right. Uba oisay says shemayim bebechina samu oisay. What? Samu oisay sam oisay. Ki shava v'sheke v'hevel v'kosav yidaberi. They're speaking nonsense, foolishness. Right, they're speaking nonsense. They're speaking nonsense. Right? Why? Ki kol ha ma'oyrois v'chol ha nagosam hakol me'ita yizbarach. They're all running only because Hashem wills it to run, and that's why the sun shines. Shizel bechinas kedushas yamtov koyre yu megales harotzan. Like I explained to you before, when it comes to yamtov, when it comes to the holidays, when it comes to the holidays, Hakadosh Baruch Hu is megale his rotzan. Because Hashem changed the Teva, right? This is what Hashem does. He changed the Teva when it came to each one of the holidays, right? Is that right? Right, when it came to Matan Torah. Matan Torah, HaKadosh Baruch Hu changed the whole thing, right? He opened the heavens, opened everything. That wasn't Teva, right? And then when it came to Pesach, one of the holidays, we, we spoke about that. When it came to Sukkot, that we're in the desert, that we have, a, that we have the sun... We, Akkadish Baruch Hu gives us the clouds of glory. At night we have the fire. Well, this is not, this is not, uh, this is not Teva, right? Let's just finish this up. Hashem called the day, uh, He called to the light day, right? Like Rabbi Nachman teaches us, and we learned this so many times, every day you have to increase your knowledge of Hashem, finding Hashem in the world. Something new, something new today, find something new today, find Hashem in something today that you didn't see Hashem in yesterday. Every day do that, every day. Make Hashem bigger in your life. Show Hashem is in each and every one of the things in your life. Add to it every single day. Find Hashem in a different circumstance, in a different situation in your life. Okay? Ki ikka hu emuna, because the main thing is our emuna. Ta'ainu emuna sarotzat, the chol ma, sha'onu me'idin umafasimim, shahu yiz barak barako. And the more we go out and we testify, and we, and we, and we, and we, and we, and we, and we announce, Right, we make public, we make known. It's you, Hashem, that made it, and you run everything exactly the way you want it to run. That brings a tremendous, tremendous light and holiness onto the person saying that. Could you imagine? 
When you're saying these words, you're adding Kedusha. You're adding holiness upon yourself. You're adding light of Hashem upon yourself because you're saying that the light is all you, Hashem. Right? You're, you're, you're identifying that it's, I, I this book, it's only sunny outside now because you will it to be sunny outside. That's amazing. By all of the worlds that are dependent on this. He called me. Anyone that falls into the trap and they say it's now, it's all Teva. It's all nature. Everything runs according to nature. Is it Hashem said whatever well, in the Hashem in the is nature. Uh, okay, I understand, but the so, but the world says there's no Hashem. Hashem is irrelevant. Who cares what the world I under, says? We I, only care what we say. I understand, but we say, okay. All of the Look what it says now. Look, look what he says now. The Navi Yeshaya. Choshach Hashem es betzeisay v'yareyach la yagia oray. That person, the sun. Will not, he won't ever enjoy the sunlight. He'll never see the real, he'll never benefit by the moonlight. He'll never benefit by anything. When people get older, right? And then they just sit on the couch and they're watching the news all day and all day. So these people wind up becoming very grumpy old people, right? Why? Because they realize, why? They realize I'm not wasting my life away. They get angry at them. So why am I doing this? They get upset at themselves. They don't even realize. At the end of the day, they finish sitting watching the thing. You watch a movie for three hours, four hours, whatever the things are, right? Baruch Hashem, I haven't watched in a movie a long time. Baruch Hashem. Okay, uh, listen. But you sit there, and you finish, and you finish watching the screen, and, then you, get, and you, you look, what was that? <laughs> what did I just do with three hours? What just happened? Where did it go? <laughs> Where did it go? Right? Okay. Uh, because they have darkness in their day, because they don't find Hashem in their day. So it's dark. They're living in darkness. They're living in darkness. They're not searching out and they're not seeing Hashem in their life. It means everything's dark to them. It's dismal. People will tell you today the world is very dark and dismal. Sure it is. If you don't find Hashem behind everything, how Hashem is guiding everything, Hashem is doing everything, it's dark and dismal. You're right. Uh, so it says when it came to the Churban Beis Hamikdash, right? When it came to the Churban Beis Hamikdash, they weren't making the brachas. So it's what they say, we didn't say Birchas HaTorah, right? Right? Shalai Berchel Birchas HaTorah. Remember that? Right? They didn't mm-hmm. say the Birchas HaTorah. And it says they didn't do the mitzvahs with Simcha V'tuvleif, right? And that Tachas HaSheravad, the Lebe Simcha V'tuvleif, right? Like it says. But really, where did it come from? Where did that happen? It's not, could you really say, can you really say that because they didn't make the bracha, the Churban happened? Is it so terrible they didn't make the blessing? You ever think of that? So they didn't make the blessing over the Torah. But they were doing mitzvahs anyway. So was that so terrible? Yes. No, it was terrible because that was the first thing that they did wrong. Right. And then once a person sets that in their mind, oh, I don't need to say this. I can so, then, so, then, so then the next thing will fall off, and the next thing will fall off, and the next thing. The problem is that that was the first thing that started. And that's why they pin it on the birchas yoytzamoyres, on birchas Torah, because that's where it started. I stopped doing this, then I stopped doing the next thing and the next thing and the next thing. It creates the snowball, right? The snowball is very little, right? But as it goes down the hill, it gets very, very big. You ever do that? Right, we're talking about snow, right? So if you take a snowball, right? You take a snowball on a hill. Wouldn't it be great if we had a lot of snow and you know, Mat Yoakoin, right? We'd send the snowball down all the way down. Like the kids ride their bimba, right? You ever see them do that on Shabbos? <laughs> You ever see those guys? I'm telling you, it's Nisim and the Flois. It's Mamish. Nisim, you see how Hashem is watching them. These guys are going, these little kids, they're going on the thing and over the bumps and they fly up. And you ever watch that? Yeah. You ever see that, right? You saw that? Uh, Yeah, I've seen it. Yeah, I see it all the time. I hear it all the time. No, I'm watching it. It's amazing. (laughs) I'm a little jealous, yeah. 
<laughs> and then, then you see them, they come right back up and they run back up the thing and they do it all over again. They go back down again. <laughs> it's amazing. Aliyah's and you read this, right? <laughs> Okay, okay, here we go. Because we know that the main light is the light of Das. When we have Das, we said, when we make the bracha in the Shmo Nesri, right? We say, uh, 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 when, we, when we make the bracha of Das in Shmo Nesri, what are we saying? I know it's you, Hashem, Hashkocha Pratis in the world. That's light. Then I have light in my life. Right? Isn't that beautiful words? Right in Kahelis. Shleim HaMelech said these words, right? There's a benefit of Chachma, Min HaSichlus, right? Min Right? In other words, I can know, in other words, what's he trying to say? In other words, I can see, I can see something that's light, and I, I know it's light. I know it's light because I know it's Hashem. I have the Chokhmah, I understand it's Hashem, I understand it's you, Hashem. The darkness, I know it's you, Hashem, but I know there's light in the darkness. Oh, the Shleim HaMelech is amazing. Ki das shel sheker because of Einai das klav. <coughs> because when it comes to the das and sheker and foolishness, cause of, right, falseness, false, right? Einai das klav. Other rabbis. Who garua minaxil the pesi or meshuga meachashu chacham beina vinisa bechachmasa levias levias shachas lichba chas v'shalom beretzayni is baruch abayu manig akol beretzayni. Look at this. You take two people. Take two people. Take one guy that's a drunk. Take one guy that's a drunk. Take, and take one guy that's a professor. Right, the real professor, right? The real professor, and everyone looks up to this guy because he's the professor. Right, the professor's Robert. not here now, so we can see. Right? He looks at, he's a professor, right? He lo- everyone looks up to the professor. So what happens? When the, when the drunk guy speaks, no one listens to him, right? Because he's a drunken. Who's going to pay any attention to the drunken, right? The other guy speaks, Everybody. everyone's going to listen to him. Everyone listens to him, right? Everyone listens to him. But what's at the end of time, when, when, when it comes to the end, at the end of the, at the end of people's lives, that he led them down the wrong path, and he led them to the path that they're going in now, they're going to come back and they're going to, they're going to, they're going to be very upset at this professor for what he did. No one will wind up being upset at the drunk guy. He did his He's own thing. He's a drunk guy. It was right. Huh? It was Okay. These kind of chachafim, oi, these chachafim in their eyes. Oi, to these chachafim in their eyes. They're not chachafim. They're, 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 they're speaking nonsense. It, the Torah is irrelevant. It's irrelevant today. God is irrelevant. Nonsense. Nonsense. A person shouldn't be so great that he's he so, so happy with his wisdom because he understands Hashem gave him the wisdom, right? Right? If Hashem gave us the wisdom, right? If a person can understand something, is it because I'm so smart? Why are you so smart? Are you so smart because Hashem made you smart. Right? What's that? But now I bracha for his. Oh, oh, okay. But now I wonder. Because if he may, Hashem bless you with that. You what? Now I wonder. I know where it came from. Now, what does he want me to do with it? Now that I have it, because it must be something special. Use it in use it in a positive way. Find Hashem. Use your chachma to find Hashem. He nay bidvar Hashem mosu bechachmas ma lohem. Right. So what do they do? They they they. They, 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 they're moss in the Chachmas of Hashem, right? It becomes disgusting to them. They don't want to start, like we said the other day, let some of these guys say, well, if their children become, if their children become from people and they wear tefillin and tzitzis and keep Shabbos, it's worse than if they would have become, it would have been better for them to become drug addicts. You ever hear that, Yossi? I, I, I understand the idea at this point. Yeah, the, to them it's terrible. It's terrible. The, the, these people write, all these philosophers, they write that the main wisdom is to know the truth. To know the truth. 
but everyone has a different truth. That's Every amazing because that, that's exactly what we're speaking about MS Amitis, what we're not yeah. we're trying to get to. Right, but they say they're saying the truth. They're saying the truth. Say the no. saying the tru I'm saying the truth. No, they're yeah. half truths. They say they have the truth. They'll, 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 they, they do whatever they want. They throw off the yoke of Torah and they do it in public. They go crazy. They go crazy. Woe are those to those eyes, because again, Rav Nassim was writing this when? Rav Nassim was writing this when Haskola, when the enlightened movement was rampant, when it was running rampant. <laughs> And all they're doing is they're going after the nonsense all the time. I guess we'll stop over here because uh, it's 10 after 8. All right, and we'll stop over here. And tomorrow, Amir Hashem will pick it up. Can you mark the place, please? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're going to start with Haklal, okay? But where, what? Haklal, the general ruler. Yeah, but I need it in my secular language. Okay, Haklal, okay, I'll tell you. Okay, everyone have a wonderful day. Besoros Tovos Kol Tov.